Y'all not listening. I am giving out my phone number. I don't understand how else I can say this to y'all. My scarf, my do-rag, whatever you want to call it, bonnet, whatever, wave cap. You may feel like I'm being aggressive. You may feel like I'm overreacting. You're not hearing what I'm putting out. You have went over and over and over and over and over and over, over, over again. You need to know. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna try not to make this video too long, but I ain't gonna make no promises because I have something that I wanna share with y'all. Like y'all have to watch this entire video because I feel like at this point, y'all not listening. Why, like, why y'all not putting down what I am spitting out to y'all, okay? Why y'all not listening to what I am telling y'all? I am telling y'all certain things. I am giving out my phone number to you all to call me, to FaceTime me, to have a conversation about what you need to do to get A110. I have said it multiple times. I don't understand how else I can say this to y'all, but I'm going to explain it in today's video. And so if you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I post a lot of great content. I'm giving out a lot of information in regards to just like army things in general, but today's video will be about GT improvement and mentorship. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications. So when I do post or upload a video, you will be notified. My name is Amelia Danielle. You can call me Amelia or you can call me D. But if you see me in uniform, please make sure you call me Miss Fullwood. You can call me Chi. And if you don't salute me when you see me because you're nervous or because you can't see my little teeny, 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 teeny dot, it is fine. I completely understand, okay? I'm not this type of person. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this video because I really want y'all to hear me when I say to do certain things, right? So today is going to be about GT improvement and mentorship. And so I created a teams channel or teams group on teams with labeled or called GT Improvement and Mentorship, right? And so if you are in the Army, I don't know what other branch you may be in if you are watching this video and you want some of the information that I'm putting out, but this is Army related. And so if you are Air Force, Navy, you can get at it, but the only thing that I can say that I will be putting in that, that channel as far as in like things to help you for mentorship is things that you can take while you are in BCEP because you are trying to improve your GT score. And if you are Air Force, Navy, Marines. I'm not sure how y'all tests go. I'm only speaking on behalf of the Army. So I will go ahead and get that out the way so y'all won't sit here wasting y'all time and going throughout the whole video, all right? Also, before I get started, I have my scarf on. Y'all always know that before I go to work, I rock my scarf, my do-rag, whatever you want to call it, bonnet, whatever, wave cap, because I like to have my hair laid. I pay 200 and something dollars for my hair and I want it to last. And so let's go ahead and get the fact that I have a do-rag on out the way while I'm making this video, all right? So in regards to the GT Improvement and Mentorship channel, I have added over 150 soldiers to that as of last week and today. Today is August the 6th. So based off of last week when I made the TikTok on my TikTok, if you want to follow me at Amelia Daniel 3, um, I had made a video basically letting everybody know that follow me or just in general that I will be doing a channel called GT Improvement and Mentorship. Now within the GT Improvement, um, there is going to be study material in there based off of BCEP. So all of the words, there are 209 words. You need to know your words. There are math formulas in there. There are like screenshots, like you can print everything um, in regards to being able to study for the BCEP class. Um, the number one thing that I will tell you is that you need to know every single word. Now y'all gonna beat me up for this. Y'all might feel like I'm fussing. Y'all may feel like I'm coming at you. you. You may feel like I'm being aggressive. You may feel like I'm overreacting. You may feel like I'm doing the most. You may feel like I have an attitude. You may feel like I'm being frustrated. You Listen, when I tell y'all, I have talked to so many soldiers and I have expressed and said to them, I have had FaceTime calls, y'all. Y'all know who y'all are if y'all are watching this and y'all have had a conversation with me. I have FaceTimed y'all. I have stopped what I'm doing, FaceTimed y'all and said, do you know the words? Did you get all 16 words right? If you sit at that computer the day that you are testing out and you have been sitting in BSEP for 30 days and you go sit at that computer and you test out and you're looking at the question 
uh, with the word and it's A, B, C, D and you look at it and you are hesitant or you are thinking to yourself, hmm, is this right? Or you are thinking to yourself like, I don't know what this is. I'm going to just pick something and think that in, in hopes that I'm going to get this right. Then something, you're not hearing what I'm putting out. You have not looked at my videos. You have not subscribed to my channel. You have not taken b Step series because I have said over and 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 over again, you need to know all 16 words. Don't know five of them. Don't know six of them. Don't know 10 of them. Know all 16 words. If you sit down at a computer and you don't get a 110 and then they print your scores and you look at your line scores and the WK, which means word knowledge is not at least a 60 or above. The highest one I have seen so far is a 77, which means they probably miss one dog on word. Because guess what? When you get all 16 words right, you will get a guaranteed 110. The words are double the points, okay? The words are double the points. And so in regards to this channel, I am putting things that you can use to print off to help you study for BCEP, to help you study the words because even though there are 209 words, you may go home or you may be sitting in that class and you might be looking like, oh my gosh, I don't feel like learning this or oh, I can't remember this or oh, I don't know and oh, when I get home, I ain't got time to study. I'll just study while I'm in class and oh, but guess what? You cannot blame nobody when you sit at that computer and you don't get all 16 words right. Just blame yourself and then you're going to be like, you know what? I need to go back to BCEP because she told me to get all 16 words right. She told me to study every single word. She told me that if I sit my behind at the computer and I, I am thinking or guessing or I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to just try. Maybe this is right because I mean, at this point, I don't know. She told me to know all words and I can't blame nobody but myself. At this point, I didn't take BCEP series. At this point, I didn't print the words and put them on index cards. I didn't go home and I didn't study. I didn't utilize my time wisely while I was sitting in the BCEP class. And then on top of that, do not go back to work. If you are in the morning class don't go to your office in the afternoon if you have a afternoon class don't go to the office in the morning your place of duty needs to be at BCIP in the class and if you are in the afternoon class go to the class that's in the morning go to a computer lab go to the library go to the ed center wherever you feel like you need to go to be able to study because a lot of us cannot study at home we just can't like we get complacent we get lazy we're thinking about something else we want to do something else as good as some of y'all are in regard to doing certain stuff like playing video games you know if you plan a video game how to build a house in minecraft you know if you are playing football or basketball you know what button to push to make the basket or score a touchdown you know that if you are trying to figure out how to do your brows, you're going to watch a, th a thousand YouTubes and TikToks until you can master doing your brows and putting your eyelashes on and making sure the glue is not too thick and making sure that you dry, draw the line straight. and make, You're doing all of that for you. But are you studying for you to get that 110? You want to go put in an OCS packet. You want to put in a warrant packet. You want to go to all of these other different things that are available because you want to progress in your career, but you are not taking your career serious. And the reason why y'all y'all might think that I'm coming off as being frustrated is because I did it. I went through it. I am a living testimony that when I went to BCEP the first time, that when I came home, I was study for like 15 minutes on the math. I was study for like maybe 30 minutes on the power comprehension and I was study like maybe an hour on the words. But when I sat my behind down in that desk, I did not, or at that computer, I did not know every word, every 16 words. And then I went back and I re-enrolled and I had to waste more time, my time that I cannot get back because I did not take BCEP serious the first time. And then I had to go take 30 days of leave y'all, 30 days. I took and used 30 days to go back to BCEP. I wasted my leave days. I could have been doing something else with those 30 days. But being that I was playing games and I didn't take this time to study like I was supposed to and I wasn't retaining the information or I wasn't... It, I got a 109. Who wants to walk out of BSEP with a 109 like you're wasting your time? And so if I fail, so if I sound like I'm frustrated or if I sound like I'm coming off as being aggressive, I love y'all. I went through this. On that team's channel, I have all ranks on there. I have PFCs, specialists, captains, staff sergeants, sergeant first class. I have some that are on the trail. They are drill sergeants. I have company commanders wanting to be added to the teams because they want to help y'all. Y'all soldiers have 
have to replace us one day. Somebody have to come take over my job. I'm not going to always be in the army. So if I'm not, then I need a replacement. Who and how are you going to replace me regardless of what my MOS is as a warrant because I am property booked. I still need a mobility warrant to come replace somebody else so they can help mobility. I still need a DFAT tech. I still need an SSA tech. I don't know all the different M MOSs for warrants. And so I apologize if you are watching this and you're like, okay, that's not my job as a warrant officer. I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and apologize. I just don't know. But at the end of the day, like an aviation tech, we all have to help each other in some way, shape, or form. So regardless of what packet you are putting in to go warrant, we all have to help each other out. We all have to take the time to assist and help each other out and that is going to start with helping yourself out you can't blame your commander you can't blame the first sergeant. you can't blame the platoon sergeant. you can't blame your NCO that's in charge you can't blame you can't blame because I am telling you if you are in the morning class be in the morning class stay in the afternoon even if you have to go to lunch because there is a break for you to go to lunch and then go back to the afternoon class take your lunch break go eat go sit right back in the afternoon class because guess what They're, the instructors are not going to kick you out and if they are kicking you out you need to know why like hey sir or ma'am i need to stay in the afternoon because i need the extra help i need the extra attention i need to comprehend i need to make sure i write this down i need to retain the information right so i feel or i sound frustrated but i'm not I'm just very passionate about helping y'all. I get on FaceTime calls with y'all. I will give y'all my cell phone number and in an email, in a DM, in a text, or however I send y'all my phone number and I say, hey, call me. Hey, this is my number. Hey, FaceTime me. Sometimes I don't even tell y'all FaceTime me. Y'all send me y'all number or I give y'all my number and then when I answer, I'll automatically turn it on FaceTime. Now, if you have a droid to my droid users, I can't see y'all and that's it, it is what it is. I'm not about to go through WhatsApp and Signal, but I am looking at you like, hey, did you get all 16 words right? Or hey, being that you don't test for another two weeks, have you been studying them words? Do you know them? Do you know that if you do test out, you're gonna get every single word right? If you say no, I'm gonna just be like, listen, I done told you and I'm gonna keep telling you, I tell y'all and I talk a lot. When y'all call me, I am talking, 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 talking because I know what it feels like. I don't want that to be you. I want you to be better than me. I want you to be able to go to BSEP the first time and get a first time go. I want you to not be disappointed because you did not take the time to study, right? So in regards to the team's channel, the GT Improvement and Mentorship, I will have stuff in there about BSEP. Um, the only other thing that I do want to cover in regards to BSEP is the paragraph comprehension, right? So we all know that that everything is timed and in regards to the paragraph comprehension a lot of y'all are thinking and this is how y'all scores are kind of like low in regards to the paragraph comprehension um so your line scores for paragraph co comprehension needs to be at least a 53 or above right so a lot of y'all are reading the paragraph and a b c d are answering the question based off of what you read in the paragraph it's common sense at this point it's kind of like having street sense it's kind of like comprehending what is being said in the paragraph not reading it verbatim or word for word and then like pathfinder let me read the regulation verbatim and answer the question because it said this okay the paragraph comprehension is you reading the entire paragraph and then taking away what you read for it so i'll give you an example right so on monday thomas went to the gym and then on Tuesday Thomas went to the DFAC and then on Wednesday Thomas went to the Ed Center and then for the rest of the week Thomas just went to work every day and didn't do nothing else and then on the weekends Thomas played his video games and then Thomas had a dog that was yellow and Thomas also likes to go on long walks right so you're reading all of that based off of the power of comprehension and then when you get to the question the the answers are going to be or the question is going to be okay so during what day of the week did thomas do x y and z you're going to have a b and c and d right you're not going to say on monday thomas went to the gym and on tuesday thomas went to the d bag and on wednesday thomas went you're not going to and those are not going to those are not going to be the answers if you answer that after i am telling you that you are reading the paragraph to comprehend it when I see you and you tell me you didn't get a 110, not see you, but if I have a conversation with you and you tell me that you getting a one, you didn't get a 110 and your line score for a paragraph comprehension after you tested out was low, then I'm gonna be like, so did you not watch my video? Did you not comprehend? You're comprehending what they're asking you 
based off of you reading the paragraph, right? So you're basically um, going to say, because one of the answers is going to be, Thomas worked out throughout the week. He also liked to go on walks and he, um, you know, had an, he had pets and he also had pets. You're not going to sit here and say, oh, Thomas had a yellow, you know, Thomas went to the defect on Wednesday. You're not going to say that, oh, throughout the rest of the week, which was on a Thursday and Friday, Thomas went to work. You're not going to answer. The question is, you're, that's not going to be the answer. The answer is going to be, Thomas did a lot of activities throughout the week that led to him going into the weekend because he wanted to have a good time hanging out with one of his animals, one of his pets. Okay, because you're comprehending it. You have to comprehend, like read it and comprehend it, okay? Like, I, I don't know how else to explain that or express that, but don't read the paragraph and think that, oh my God, it said this, 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 and this. And so I'm going to pick A because I know that's what it said in the sentence. No, don't do that, okay? Um, So I hope I helped. I hope, listen, share this because I have been repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over, and over to everybody that called me or to everybody that I sent a DM to, especially during TikTok. I still have over a hundred people that I have to add to the teens group. Um, da -da -da, I just transferred to the reserves. Okay, so as I'm reading, I have my, like, as I'm making this video, I'm reading because I'm getting notifications from my TikTok. A lot of y'all will hit me up through TikTok, but y'all can also send me an email on Outlook and you can also send me a DM on Teams because I'm sitting at my computer all day working. So if you send me a message on TikTok, I might not get, a, get to you right away. I'm still trying to add people from last week. And so be patient. Make sure you share this information in regards to the team chat being available. Now, now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the mentorship part of the team's channel or the team's group chat. So the mentorship is basically not me giving y'all one-on-one mentorship, but the mentorship is coming from everybody, right? So I have my warrant packet in there. I have Sergeant Lynch warrant packet in there. I have a um, driver's badge that Corporal Hernandez received for driving so many miles based off of however many months of no accidents and all of that. Because a driver's badge is promotion points and you also get to wear it on your pink and greens. I have examples of an MSM in there. I still need to add the AAM and the RCOM. Um, I have have 92 Yankee continuity in there. I have classes that you can take for promotion points such as um, combatives level one and two. Um, I have um, some extra things that you can do like airborne, aerosol. I have, like, listen, the mentorship is not me giving y'all one-on-one -on -one mentorship. The, men the, the mentorship part of the channel is y'all being able to go look for something that you may need and pull from that. Not to take it out of there and delete it, but to like download it. And then I'm also working on how to figure out how to have it to where nobody can't go in there and manipulate or like delete stuff or add to. Kind of like if y'all heard of Mr. Darby, Mr. Darby is the guru of 92 Yankees, right? He has so many things for us to use. I'm not trying to be a Mr. Darby, but I'm trying to, because he only did 92 Yankee things, I'm trying to be on a broader spectrum of being able to share whatever knowledge that helped me succeed, and I know that helped others succeed in the Army, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> my throat is dry, y'all. I need to go drink some water. But that's what I'm doing in regards to the GT Improvement and Mentorship. And so if y'all have any questions about that, please feel free to ask um, in the comments below. Please make sure you share. And again, don't forget to subscribe because I love making ARMY content for y'all. Um, I really do post a lot of ARMY content on my TikTok and I kind of shied away from it a lot because I was getting like a lot of backlash and hate and people saying that I spent too much time on social media. But the only time I really spend on social media is on my days off and before I go to work and when I get off. And so um, I'm still trying to be consistent with making these videos and helping y'all out because I love to do that. And so again, make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, and let me know what other videos y'all think or what other video let me know what other questions that y'all may have or y'all please let me know what other topics y'all would like to talk about um and i will let y'all know i can share my experience on different duty stations that i have been to the pros and the cons whatever it is just let me know but until next time my name is amelia peace